Don't, call him. Don't, look, no, call him. Look, no, I want you to look no. directly into the TV screen you know, as I say this to you, all right? You're now crazy, listen, you're I'm crazy. not the one that's crazy. You're the one that's crazy. You're the zombie. You're the fucking slave, all right? Is it possible that we've been bamboozled for hundreds of years? Do you know that if you want to control people, all you have to do is control how they perceive God? Oh my Look, God. Now do you you're know crazy. that when these so called religions were established, religion. they were established by people that had an agenda in mind? What? Do I, am I a conspiracy theorist? Do I believe in conspiracy? you damn right I believe in conspiracies. You should too if you knew what was good for you. Do you Why? even know what the letters, the red numbers and letters on your social security oh card God, and your birth certificate even represent? Card. Do you know what that means? You're a straw man. Straw. You're a fucking slave. You're a slave to one of the biggest corporations in the world, the United oh States God. of America. My All I'm saying country. is God did not make religion. Man right made now. religion. All right? You understand that? You'll be better oh off. Well, if you really think about it, who's really telling you what to do? I'm who's I'm making things happen for you? Huh? Now, understand what I'm saying. Religion is used to separate people. Oh, oh really? Right? Even if you break these religions down, they have different denominations. It's a simple plan of divide and conquer. Oh, but you're too busy chomping down on the bullshit oh that the media God. is force feeding really? you that you don't really? even see that. Really? All right? Really? Now, really? Oh, so uh, folks, we'll be right back after a quick break. Are you crazy? I don't give a goddamn about the sponsors, all right? If somebody asks me a question, I'm going to answer the question to the best of my abilities, and I'm going to be honest. Talk show giant Horace Legrand's epic meltdown is all over the news. Social media can't seem to get enough of the epic rant. The latest news is that Empire Broadcasting, the parent company of Legrand's show, has placed him on an indefinite leave of absence. You know, funny thing is, I knew this was going to happen. Then why'd you make me go along with okay, you? Hey, hey, hey. Now, first of all, I didn't make you do anything. Now, second of all, you must admit, uh, I felt pretty liberated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did feel pretty good. Of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> it always feels good when you expose the truth. That's what you did, man. You woke the world up, man. You woke up the fucking zombies, man. The world's a lot better place because of it, too. Hmm. Yeah, but now everybody thinks I'm crazy as hell. Hey! You listen to me. I don't ever want to hear that come out your mouth again. You hear me? You're not crazy. Somebody has to expose the truth. Somebody has to do it. That was the deal anyway. I give you the truth, you share it with the world. Right? Yeah. Right. So what's the next move? Doesn't sound like I got too many options at this point. <laughs> In the game of chess, there's always options. See, in the game of chess, what we want to do, we want to make our next move our best move. So, it's quite simple. We expose the men aside. And we make them pay for every single lie they've ever told. Do you want blood on your hands? If you know the truth and you don't say it, then you're no different than the devil that planted the lie in the first place. Now wake up. Hey! Hey! Wake up. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> baby. Another one? Yeah. What was I saying? You were having a conversation with someone else. Do you want to talk about it? No. Baby, I really think that... I said I don't want to talk about it. You know what? That's the damn problem. You don't want to talk about it. You act like I wasn't the one sitting next to you while you have a meltdown, meltdown. in front of Meltdown? Call it what you want, okay? Point of the matter is you're not getting back on the station until you go see a psychiatrist.
If I go to the psychiatrist, people are gonna think I'm crazy. If you don't see one, they're gonna think you're crazy. Good morning. Look. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't think about how this was affecting you as well. I shouldn't have blown up at you earlier. I'm just... I'm just in a real tough spot right now, babe. Here to support you. Horace, you don't need to fight these battles on your own. <sighs> Look, let's just do what we need to do to get you back on station with me, okay? I miss my partner in crime. Come on, baby. I'll call. They try today and um, see if they can uh, refer me to a doctor. You know what? I can do even better. Hold on, I got you. You know what? I know exactly who you need to call. I have the utmost respect for this guy. You should call him. What, so you've seen a shrink before? Yeah, of course. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, rich people do it all the time. Everybody, everybody needs to talk to somebody at some point. Oh my God. Um, baby, I need to get to the station. But listen, are we still on for dinner at your place tonight? Oh yeah. I know the media is still camped out over at my place. So I'm thinking we could just do it here. Okay. But, but I am gonna make your favorite for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that means I'll have to bring your favorite red wine. Yeah, you do. All right, well, I'll be seeing you later. All right. Bye, baby. Have a go. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? The mess around and woke up in the matrix Cause I dream heavily when I go to sleep Wasted, I'm in a living hell And my soul's full of hatred Sins pour out my mouth so much that I can taste it Lying to my loved ones just to get this cake Shit, tried to legal way But a nigga didn't make shit Tried the evil way And a nigga didn't make sense Trying to keep away and just figure I can make hits My dreams become nightmares So I try and pitch So she uh, convinced me to set up an appointment with the shrink. <laughs> now you know they're gonna try and make it seem like you're crazy. Well, well shit, that's, that's the only option at this point if I want the job back. Listen man, to hell with that job. You hear me, to hell with that job. You need to stop playing the game by their rules. You don't need them. Hell, if anything, they need you. It's not that simple, man. <laughs> it's just not that simple. Listen, it's only as complicated as you make it. You are the key. 
You can never ever let them feel like they're doing you a favor. Shit, that's how you keep them in power. So what should I tell the shrink? You got to be selective in what you say. Get real selective. Well, first off, I want to say that I'm a big fan of your show. Now, Horace, I don't know if you have any preconceived notions about psychiatrists, but I want you to think of this as a conversation between friends about life. <laughs> yeah, right. Isis, I think it's great that you're here as a support system to Horace. I just want him to feel comfortable. So, Doc, what's on your mind? Well, you tell me, what's been happening with you lately? It's been kind of tough not being able to be on air doing what I love to do. <laughs> Along with the fact that people try to paint me out to be some type of lunatic for expressing my opinion. Well, that could be a bit unsettling. So, what inspired the opinion you shared on your show that day? I can't buy you answer that. My subconscious. Your subconscious? Yes. Does your subconscious talk to you? Trap question. The same way your subconscious would talk to you. My man. I see. So, how are you dealing with the things being said about you in the media? <clears throat> well, uh, I just try to take it one day at a time. Um, try to tune everything out and just really just stay to myself. Well, with that said, have you had any thoughts of harming yourself? Oh, come on, what is this? This is a trap question, this is another one. You answer yes to that. You know you'll be straight jackets and rubber walls from here. I'm talking paddy wagon. No. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm not even feeling this shit. Let's get up out of here, all right? For all we know, he may be with them. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No offense, but I don't really think anything's wrong with me. And I personally don't think I can sit here while you try and psychoanalyze me. Maybe this just wasn't Horace, the best just, idea. Come on. No, babe, come hey, on. Just... Hey, 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 hey. I'm ready to go. That's right, you tell her who's boss. Horace. Doc, here Doc, Doc, Doc. Thanks for your time. I'm sorry. You haven't said one word to me since we left the doctor's office. You know what? You're damn right, Oris. Why the hell would you go through all the hassle of setting up an appointment if you're just gonna walk right out this session? Look, I didn't think it was helping, all right? <laughs> I didn't think, think the helping. damn thing was helping. You are missing the whole point. What's the point then? Okay, listen. You have already lost all your major endorsements. Next, no major network is gonna risk bringing you on. And all they ask from you, all they asked, is for you to show up a couple times a week at a psychiatric's office and, and you can't even do that. Look, Isis, seeing that psychiatrist is not gonna change anything. All they wanna do is make they, it seem like I'm crazy. They, I am so sick of it, Horace. They this and they that. What happened to us? Damn it. I think you should go back to the psychiatrist. Really? I mean, we want our message to reach the masses. And what better way than to get you back on TV? And you know, she has been very supportive. Mm -hmm. 
I think I owe her that much. Hey, and she loves you, it's obvious. And she cares about you. I mean, if nothing else, do it for her. Doc, I just wanted to apologize for um, lashing out at you in our last session. I'm very humbled that you've decided to see me again. Forget it, Horace. It's not uncommon for people to react that way on their first visit to the psychiatrist. Like I said, I'm here to help. Well, I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. I just... I just want to get things back to the way they were. Understood. So, since our last session, have you had any dreams? Yes. I have them all the time. And what do you see in these dreams? It's okay. Go ahead and tell. I see visions of tsunamis and and, and superstorms created by some type of uh, uh, weather control system. I hear voices crying out for help because of that. I see I see bodies with with no souls and and shadows with no faces. I see people being bought, chained, sold, deals being made with the devil, betrayal, innocent people being m murdered under a full moon. Doc, I wake up in I just want to end it all. Thank you for coming. I'll try to make this brief. Due to the fallout of the recent events on air, there are some changes that need to be made. We have a proposition that would seem very beneficial for you. I'm listening. Now, we've been told that you and Mr. Legrand have become intimately involved outside of your working relationship. Is that so? His latest rant has put us in a situation where we have no choice but to take action. We have to discredit Mr. Legrand. Why, is there some truth to what he was saying? <laughs> The only thing that you need to worry about is that our ratings have been through the roof since this happened. We've been trending on social media every day and getting calls from all across the world to give the story behind Mr. Legrand's fall from grace. Now, if he never returns, that means that the show is yours. With all the media attention that we've been getting, this could spring for your career to be in the next Oprah. Oprah. What is it I need to do? What do I need you to do? Thank you for asking me that question. The only thing that I need you to do is just persuade Mr. Legrand to see this psychiatrist. And we'll take care of the rest. The matter is you're not getting back on the station until you go see a psychiatrist. I have the utmost respect for this guy. What inspired the opinion you shared on your show that day? My subconscious. It sounded like you're having a conversation with somebody. I don't I think you should go back to the psychiatrist. I mean I'm nothing else to do for her. 
You're not crazy. I'll see what I can do. In recent news regarding talk show host Horace Legrand, it is said that he has been deemed mentally ill and has to be committed to a mental institution indefinitely. This is shocking news as we will keep you updated on the talk show personalities fall from grace. Can somebody give me some fucking water, please? I think you said enough to the whole set in the whole world. Ready for the don't start with me. Don't start with you. Don't start with me. <laughs> but, but I should know better because this is Why the light? Can somebody turn down the... No, no, no. It's no, fucking no. hot. It's hot because your damn temper is ha- out of damn control. I don't have a fucking temper. Oh, he doesn't have a fucking temper. Listen to that. You know, sometimes I really think that the fucking lines get blurred. Are we business partners? Are we lovers? Are we both? Are we not? I don't understand what it is anymore, Isis. And you know what? Quite frankly, I'm getting a little bit tired of it. I'm really getting sick of it. Because I really feel like you should have my back. And I don't feel like you have my back. All it is, is about money and sponsors with you. Do you yeah, know what I you did to the us? Truth. I just told the truth. Oh, the truth. This is not about Okay. Us. So to make this Thank nice. you for your great unveiling. Thank you for the truth. Messiah, what? what do you think? You think you could just tell the world that there's no religion and no no God and no structure? I never said that the... there was no God. Okay. Well, that's Were you paying what attention they're going to, what I was to saying? think. Were you paying attention to what I was saying? Okay. I never said that there was You're no God. You're going to lose half of our fan base because of this, this whole meltdown. Half of our did. fan base? This is my fucking fan base. Are you serious? You think this is all about you? I have worked too hard for this. Really? Really? I have sacrificed everything to be where I am right now. Really? And I'm not going to let you fuck it all up. Right. I'll be damned. Because I'm going to fuck it Yes. Up. You know what? Then get up. Walk away. That's all you ever do. You're good for leaving. That's, what, that's all you're good for is leaving. 